In Canada, we do uh, an atlas every 25 years, mm -hmm. the atlas where the nets are for five consecutive years. So we went up to the Arctic to record nests there. And goose colony. That's usually James Bay, Hudson's Bay area, but it was very cool to go up looking for the knot nests on Victoria Island. Hope to go back next summer to the Arctic. Okay, now just lay it down. That's fine, Peter. Larry? Just go to the air. Where's the other key? Turn down. We've got no. enough knots. Well, We've got enough knots. Have you got a sandling box anywhere? Here, I need a turn stone box. Then that way we can cover this in case it rains. We'll be able to deal with it. Excellent. Oh, yeah, he's scared. That's 209. The fat free weight. Oh, it's only a still, isn't it? That's a fat knot. Okay, uh, now take this apart. This is the scale. And Colleen, you're doing the weighing, right? Mm -hmm. So take that out of there. Okay, okay there it is. Yay. Right there. You see that? That's what we're after. I'm Mandy Dime with the New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife. Um, we run the Delaware Bay Shorebird Project um, here on Delaware Bay, obviously. Uh, this crew is here today uh, because we've just made a catch. We have a bunch of volunteers from New Jersey DEP as well as um, international folks who've come from about three or four different countries so far um, to help us do this work. As you can tell, we need a big team to make a big catch of shorebirds. This catch was about 75 red knots. Um, four of those red knots have uh, light sensitive geolocators, which we've put on in prior years and, are, and have recovered today. So we'll get a chance to see um, where these birds have been over their whole life cycle, which is pretty groundbreaking stuff. But um, right now what we're really interested in too is getting birds' weights. Um, we want to see how much, they're, uh, how much they weigh now. It's about just about peak migration and uh, how much they're going to take off with. Uh, we, they need to have adequate weight to get to the Arctic and reproduce successfully. So that's the main bit of information we're out uh, to get today.